are. Uh, Slingshot managed to take it over. Um, it was Hey Juice and uh, Joshathan. Or Slingshot, we... Slingshot taking over Sassy Flygon? Or, or were you talking about Bracket Run? Bracket Run. Oh, okay. By all means, then continue. Oh, uh, no, never mind. Um, I could have been wrong about that also, but the point is that both of these players kind of made it very far. I don't think this is necessarily the farthest they've made it, although that might in fact be the case. I this... Okay, I guess we're... this looked like a button check for like for about five seconds, but I guess they are going into it, which is kind of surprising because um, uh, Slingshot's been on ice for like the better part of half an hour. Uh, yeah. But maybe even longer. Um, I mean, he also could have been warming up, you know, because he's offline. He can be doing, you know, keeping his hands fresh. That's true. Um, but anyway, so we're getting into this match. Now, this is a match that historically, I'm pretty sure Mario does all right. Um, for one, he has cape available to him, meaning that when, mm. I mean, obviously it's not like, oh, I can just cape and nullify banana. But there are times where throwing out that cape does manage to counter what Diddy's trying to do. Or at the very least, you, the presence of it. Oh. Oh. Kaveen losing a, a, not a single step. I, I really wonder how many F smashes Kaveen hit in uh, their Game 5 Thriller versus Tavi. You were, you were saying before that set, it's a best, it's a, it's a best of 10 against Bayonetto. Uh, Bayonetto? Bayonetta. Um, <laughs> Bayonetto, Kaveen the gender is, swap version of Bayonetta. Uh, Kaveen, has, uh, Kaveen has gone 5-5 five and five against Bayonetta today in bracket. Um, how you like your Wi-Fi brackets, ladies and germs? Um, no, okay. The the um, the nar the Galaxy Brain narrative point that I was going to bring up first here is that I wonder if Kaveen is getting a power buff for this set because in losers' quarters. Kaveen was able to overcome the character that sent them to losers, and Slingshot did not do that. Yes, Slingshot may have won three to one, but they didn't win three to one over a duck hunt. So how about that? Anyway, um, uh, Kaveen just trying to close out the stock. Mario. So we talked about like um, Diddy Kong in, when in Slingshot versus Zane. We talked about uh, Diddy Kong having to, like, Diddy Kong has the up smash, but the up smash doesn't really come online until, what, like, 110, 120? I don't know. It, it, and it, it's character dependent, and there's too many numbers. Um, Mario comes online much, much quicker than that, especially when Kaveen is so, so willing to throw out those forward smashes, throw out those, uh, like, run up, turn around up smashes, um, and even do like some, you know, some, some kooky stuff with down airs and even falling back to the uh, the, the back air. I'm kind of just like running the gamut of every way that Kabeen got a kill in the last time they they played on stream. But uh, the point is that like Mario has definitely has the kill power advantage here. You're seeing it right there. Kabeen sitting pretty here in game number one, but now finally. on last stock. Yeah, finally managing to take that stock. 85%, obviously. Scary place to be if you are slingshot. One more forward smash from anywhere past halfway stage will probably do it. But we've seen how kind of if you are Diddy Kong, how do you come back from this situation? You don't necessarily have to go for some crazy off-stage play or really risky smash attacks. It's just you just gotta play perfectly for a minute and a half. And yeah, that's gonna be hard. But at the very oh. least, it's the same thing you normally do. You always strive to perfection oh as Diddy Kong! He has no jump, that, he's oh, dead. That's it, that's it, no jump. You're, d okay, slingshot, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Um, that was just, that was just a shutdown. Uh, like, that was like, it, it, slingshot just put Kaveen in a chokehold for like, for, for that, for that entire last stock. That was clinical. Yeah, and I mean, I was talking about how, oh, all he has to do is just play really perfectly. But we did actually see the crazy edge guard. That's something that Mario usually doesn't have to deal with. People going way deep out there, really just throwing out these moves. And Kevin just ended up being caught by that. I think his jump got caught by the forward air. And once that had happened, that was 
kind of, or no, actually he jumped early. It was a very early jump that Kabeem went for. And yeah, that really did him in. Just slingshot, seeing the wind condition, just his eyes went red and he entered rage mode and just yeah, no took kidding. out that stock. Um, and, and you're, for Kavin, you're kind of hoping that it's one bit, once bitten, twice shy. They're gonna have to be very, very stingy with their double jump off stage because Slingshot was pulling that out in the first game. Like, that's, you're, like, it, it, you feel like in a, in a best of five, you have a little bit of time to tighten up your timings, tighten up your positionings for the, for the character adjustments that you have to make from your opponent. Um, it, it really looks like Slingshot's locked in right now. Yeah, and we and we are still seeing these uh, these jump fireballs from Kevin right there though actually delaying it instead of throwing out the fireball wow. low, but doesn't manage. He can't get back to stage right there. Slingshot waiting for him and just catches him with the up smash Ooh. and now a oh, banana just okay. Yeah, biggest homie in the game. Well, biggest homie in this set. Well, well, uh, we can say we can say that much for certain. Um, oh, that's yeah. a nice little confirm. Wave bounce, uh, wave bounce, fireball into into the air. It's not a lot of damage, but it's honest work. Look at all of this damage, all of this percent being dished out onto him. Fifty-six percent already. That oh, that is that is some greasy movement there from Slingshot. <laughs> And Did Diddy Kong is really at his best when he's uh, really disguising his approaches and making things really, really ambiguous. Um, Kavin was doing a little bit of that against Amaryllis, um, but uh, Diddy Kong is, uh, you know, you know, we're, we're talking about three different characters here. Um, So now Kavin kind of slowing things down a little bit. We're seeing we're seeing more fireballs, um, partially for damage, partially just trying to confirm <gasps> grabs and aerials and things. Oh. Yeah, that forward air, if that had connected, that would have been yeah. a game changer. But I mean, th that change of course doesn't necessarily didn't require that. We still have Kavin managing to do some solid percent here. 59 and growing. I like the fact he's going for forward tilt. It's an underused move from Mario because normally, you know, oh, what reward do you get off of it? Well, the reward you get is you hit him. It's a very quick move and it can put him off stage. Ah, wow, the back okay. hit of that up smash. Yeah. Able to catch Kavin and now, once again, this lead is sizable. 74% on the slingshot and He's looking very comfortable Whoa. at this moment. And, and Kavin is hoping that they can get the same kind of mileage off of smash attacks as Slingshot uh, has been getting, especially like, you know, anti-air up smashes from Diddy Kong. However, one of these characters can shark platforms, or uh, can shark PS2 platforms with their up smash, and one of them is Mario. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's not degrade Mario up smash too much. <laughs> oh no, I... I but <laughs> Or, or uh, we could. We could just do that. No one's stopping us. <laughs> Legally, I mean, nobody who's gonna can stop, stop us. Devin? <laughs> I mean, actually, Devin is the one person who can stop yeah, us. Yeah, actually, Devin does have that power. That's true. I've been um, waiting for this. Oh, <laughs> uh, you hear the gunshots, and then you know it's over. Um, there's the forward smash, but there is no KO. Um, but Kavian really living on borrowed time here. <laughs> Is that gonna? Yeah, that... No. Okay. Mashes out. Yeah. Fantastic mash out. But <laughs> oh, wow! Okay. The patience, knowing that Kavin was looking for some kind of shield dropping option, but Slingshot knows I'm just gonna hide and shield. My shield has enough health. You're not gonna kill me off of a grab. So do your worst. And that I think has been the story of this set so far. The story of the set has been Slingshot is a shielder's shielder right now. Um, it, I don't know if they were watching the stream during Kavin versus Amaryllis. I don't know if they had a, a fly on the wall for Kavin versus Tejuice, but uh, Slingshot is very, very aware of Kavin's forward smash habits. And it, it, like, they're, they're, like, they're really sitting in shield and forcing Kavin to not be the one to swing first. 
and Kavina is always swinging first, and it's always getting shielding, and it's always getting shielded, and almost always getting punished. Um, yeah. Diddy Kong out of shield punishes, especially with banana, absolutely brutal. Can confirm into a stock from way, way, way like earlier than the the regular. Uh, the kill moves would. Interesting. This is the first time we're seeing Lilat for all of tonight. And now the thought process of why Kavim would choose to go here. Um, I mean, okay, Chaos. fireballs. That seems to be the big thing. Fireballs with their quirky angles off of these slants seem to be, at the very least, a trick that Kavim hasn't had to use against anybody yet. So. Now, my, my question is can Mario hit. Uh, can Mario up smash hit through the middle platform? I don't think it can. I don't think it can either. I would. I, I. It might hit through the side, but uh, think, we may we may find out the answer to that question. Yeah, maybe if he's standing on like the little the thrusters, it might mm -hmm. hit the top. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. The the, the wheels on the bus. <laughs> and slingshot uh, again just. Like really playing hard to hit. This is this is when we say Goldilocks character. This is what we mean: hard to hit, hard to escape from, hard to kill, hard to combo. Um, and Diddy. And the other thing that I haven't mentioned, or the other thing that I haven't talked about yet, is Diddy Kong always has stuff. Not even from Banana, but like Diddy Kong always has reliable damage that's easy to get. Um, Mario is kind of the same way, but Diddy Kong is just like, just such a reliable character. Now, one thing that's kind of worth noting just there is that he's not burning his air dodge early. A lot of the times people will do that to try and survive, but he realizes just how important having air dodge available to him once he gets closer to the stage is. And now 105% a smash attack from Mario could actually seal the stock here. And in the meantime, he has to, Ooh. oh, he's just throwing out moves and back throw, not enough to actually kill, but if you're Kevin, you've at least reached the point where even if you lose the stock, which he very well might at any moment, yep, right mm -hmm. there, the up, uh, up tilt actually taking it, but he's respawning. He threatens the kill himself. Right, right. And you, you think about, you look at the percents here, and yes, Kevin may have lost the first, or may have lost the, the, the stock first, but Kevin's first stock got, uh, it got the job done. The um, well. Diddy Kong is at kill percent. It now it's just a matter of finishing off, finishing your food. Yeah, but it also depends on how much extra credit Slingshot actually manages to get here. And oh, Diddy 66 Kong's an extra credit percent machine. already. I don't know uh, that that if that first stock could put in just a little bit more work, you know, maybe Kevin right. wouldn't be staring down this a deficit. This what well, this honestly growing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's the sort of grab where you get that and you're like, all right, this is not a grab I expected to get. Oh, all, right. all right. So kind of uh, maybe catching Slingshot in the autopilot a little bit, coming up, uh, coming up and over and then getting that approaching back air to, to confirm the stock. But that was... Uh, what a hundred like 170 or something that was that was a high percent stock yeah and oh already mario is staring down the barrel of death <gasps> oh, no! Rolls into oh that. no i i'm not sure what exactly happened there it might have been a miss input or maybe he thought he was charging forward smash or something but you know getting what hit by that up smash this man, this man played two five-game sets against Bayonetta. Go ahead and call it buffer. I don't care. You can like just go ahead and we'll, we'll look the other way on that one. Uh, but this is Kavin on their tournament stock. Slingshot up two games and a pretty comfortable lead in game number three. The Lilat pick doesn't seem like it's gotten a lot done for Kavin. Yeah, and this is the sort of thing where if you are Diddy Kong, just rely on Old Faithful. Do the strategies that have worked for the entire game here. Extend that lead with bananas, with these quick aerials just finding hits when they can. And oh, that's basically all he needs to do right now. Avoiding these Mario Smash attacks, if you're aware of them, 
not necessarily that hard to do, especially when you have a tool like Banana. But, oh, that down air. Another one of those down airs will probably do it, but... He's going in his face. He's not afraid. That might yeah, end up it, it, costing sling, him a Slingshot bit. is winning just about every game of chicken. Um, oh! Okay. Maybe... I, I said I said that Kavin picked Lilat because of chaos. He wanted the chaos element in game number three. Um, and if this is a coin flip, that coin flip may have just came up heads for Kavin. Okay. Uh, can we get another back air pushing him off stage? I will say that we're probably going to see Kavin start going for up airs. Because um, getting like a low up air into some cray cray combo into, yeah. you know, forward air off stage. Ooh. I think at this point, that's basically his win condition. I don't feel like he can extend this for too much longer. Otherwise, he will get hit by the stray banana forward smash from Slingshot. Gonna take it. He's moving on into losers finals where he now has to face off against a And that, uh, that last... We said that game one. We said that game one was a chokehold. That was just like that was an even longer chokehold. That last stock. That was, um, uh, that was just like defensive stance after defensive stance after defensive stance. Uh, I keep wanting to call him call him switchblade. Slingshot.